Well, U.S. former the former U.S. Marine Paul Whelan, as you know, has been stuck in a Russian prison for nearly five years now, charged with espionage. Charges that Whelan and the U.S. government say are completely fabricated. Since his imprisonment, Whelan's family has tirelessly, tirelessly advocated for his release, putting pressure on lawmakers, the State Department, and the White House to get Paul back home. Well, his sister Elizabeth is back in our nation's capital now, once again, hoping to see President Biden in person to make her plea. Now back here for the 24th time. Incredible. It is surreal. Have you have you been able, and I don't know how this works, to, to talk to Paul? Do you get, explain how that works, communication with your brother, and if you get access. Well, right now, uh, he can call my parents in the U.S. Embassy for about 10, 15 minutes at a time, several times a week. And this is much better than the first couple of years when he was held in the Fortevo prison and we had no communication. So we are able to exchange certain amount of information, but of course it's listened to by the guards, by the Russians. There are things he can't talk about. But at least we have an opportunity to tell him, for example, that I'm down here in, in D.C. trying to do what I can for him. What has he been able to tell you where you think, okay, that's my brother, he's, he's, or has he been able to in any way give you a message where he wants you to sort of read between the lines? I mean, it must be fascinating knowing that the Russians are listening. It's so difficult. We'll never really know the whole story of what's happened to him until he's home. Uh, but in the meantime, you know, we did see, for example, the uh, RT video um, where we finally saw him for the first time in three years. We didn't know what he looked like anymore. So that was quite stunning. Uh, Why don't we take a look at that? Because we actually have a little clip. It, oh, it's okay. very quick. Let's go ahead and see this propaganda video that uh, the state uh, media released. So you understand when I say that I can't do an interview, which means I can't answer any questions. So the backstory here is that the Russians wanted him to cooperate with an interview, right? Right. And, and you saw what he said and what happened. Do you think he was saying what he really wanted to say? Uh, they, they were forcing him to say that to make it look like he was rebelling. What are your thoughts after you saw this and heard this? Well, he's in a prison, so if they decide that they're going to do an interview, he had, he had told them that he didn't want to do it, um, he had to go along. He doesn't have a choice. But he was trying to say the least amount possible because he didn't want his words manipulated, uh, a deep fake, for example, or something like that made of him. I thought he did really well. And here's something else that's kind of interesting. People have come back to our family and said he looks pretty healthy. And, and we told him that. And he said he wanted us to thank the people of America and people who have contributed to his go fund me that money has allowed the u.s embassy in moscow to take food vegetables multivitamins and such to him in the prison and this all of the prisoners have to supplement their food uh but the, everyone here is helping to keep him going and he is so grateful now that we have you here in person when Brittany griner was released what was that like for you how do you feel about that just you know, because your brother was brought up again, he did have his own thoughts uh, about that. What was that like, Elizabeth? We, I knew from the moment that uh, Brittany Griner was arrested that the likelihood existed that she would be released by Putin before Paul because the opportunity to create a divisive moment here in the United States was just too tempting for them. I was, I was not happy that we weren't able to out play that maneuver um, because the Russians were able to carry that off and my brother was left behind. That was then the second time he was left behind. I am very pleased to see her back. Uh, any detainee who comes home, of course. that's a win for the U.S. But I need it to be my brother the next time. So you're meeting with lawmakers. You want to meet with the president. You made this request weeks and weeks ago. What's the status? Well, unfortunately, I've just heard that that meeting isn't probably going to occur this week, and I'm extremely disappointed. Um, I, I want assurance that, that we're not just getting ready to get ready, that, we're actually, that we actually have a plan that is going to work, not just some activity, but something that's going to, to lead to success. And I'm left wondering, you know, if I did have a, a national sports team or uh, a, a media empire with high-priced lawyers, would I get that access? We're just a small American family. Um, it's just me, 
my brother David, who I think you've spoken to before, out yes. there trying to do what we can for Paul. Uh, you know, it, it's easy to brush us aside. So I can't say I'm all that happy about that message. What do you think it's going to take? This is a very good question. I, I don't know. All that all I do know is that we seem to keep making these efforts that get us to about 80% and not finishing the job. And we need to have a winning mentality. You know, the idea that we're going to do what it takes to bring Paul home. Uh, I've heard people in government say they're going to overturn every stone, no stone left unturned. Well, that means the difficult stones, the boulders. We can't just gently push against them and go, oh, gosh, I tried, but uh, we can't do whatever that thing is. I want to see everything tried. I want Paul back in Michigan. There is no other option that is acceptable. Your message to your brother. We love you. We're fighting for you. Well, I think you've made that very clear. Elizabeth, great to have you in studio and on set. And I already see the tears starting to build. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.